going on guys? I recently made a video on how to make the best DIY rod tubes. Well, I'm going to show you guys a cool hack that's going to not only impress your friends, get people to ask questions, but make that rod tube really cool. So everybody likes to talk about custom things, handmade things, kind of the new trend. Well, what's cooler than having your rod tube be a handcrafted wooden rod tube? We'd all like to see that, we'd all like to purchase one, but sometimes stuff like that can get really expensive. If you're anything like me, you don't like to spend a lot of money. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a faux wood rod tube out of PVC. First, you're going to take your newly made PVC rod tube, okay, this one happens to be for my 7 foot 6 inch 3 weight, and you're going to remove the rod if it's still in there like I have mine here. Boom! Next, you're going to take some very coarse, I'm using 60 grit right here, sandpaper, and you're going to sand down lengthwise, not this way, but lengthwise, like you would the grain of a wood, up and down the rod tube on your desired uh, pattern. I'm going to personally just do from the cap to cap, because I'm going to do something different with the cap. So why don't I go ahead and show you what I'm doing there. Now if you're a neat freak like me, I'm going to sand extra hard over the PVC lettering here because I, I don't want it to show through after I finish my sanding. Now if your PVC is American made, sometimes people like to leave the word America or American in uh, ink on the actual tube. It kind of adds some kind of nostalgia factor, but I'm going to sand the whole thing down. Now after you sanded down all of your pipe that is dis now after you've finished sanding down everything that you want to be coated as desired, the next thing to do is to wipe the whole pipe down with you know, a, a nice work rag to make sure you have a clean work surface. Usually this kind of sanding creates a lot of static electricity, so you want to make sure that you might even want to wet it down a little bit to kind of get rid of that static charge because dust and other particles will want to attract themselves to the PVC after you're done. Alright, so now you know that your pipe is clear of debris, next thing you're going to need is some form of brown shoe polish. What I found that works best is this Kiwi Color Shine uh, in a brown. You can get any color you want, but I choose brown because it looks more realistic. And what I like about this type of applicator right here is that it actually already has a little flat triangular uh, applicator that you just tip upside down, it soaks, and then you just draw it along. And this is how I go about doing it. So, I find a nice stable work zone. I'm not going to do that for you. I'm going to do it a little less uh, professionally for you guys so you can show you. And I go from one top, I go from one side, and I get some product on the pipe, and I draw it along. And you might want to try a few long strokes first and get a little base coat. And then as you go along, if you stop short, it looks like the wood grain is um, surfacing. So I'll do a few runs for you here, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so what I've done is I started on one end, and, I'm, and I make long, drawn uh, runs down the pipe itself. I'm going to flip it upside down and go from the other side so I can make sure that it, I kind of level out the top here. Now, you're going to do yours to your own liking. However, I like to do mine to where it looks like an old-timer went out and took uh, a piece of wood, didn't care on where the wood uh, start and stopped. He didn't want to make a really super strong piece of uh, lumber here. And as you can see, as you get closer, it actually looks better. Okay, Depending on what type of grit you used as far as your sandpaper goes, you're going to see that all the little notches and things that you create actually get soaked into. And I think this is a really cool way to go about uh, personalizing. Now you could add base colors underneath your shoe polish in order to you know tint the, the color itself. I like this natural wood look. Um, you could go ahead and sand uh, both top and bottom as well to do the same thing, but let's be real, these don't really look very wood-like, so I'm probably going to do these in a black or in a maroon color. Now after I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and take a clear coat polyurethane, and I'm going to actually wait for this to dry. Uh, you can do two or three coats depending on how dark you want it to be, and I'm going to spray it. I, I use a spray, I use a lacquer sometimes as well, but on this type of small project, I'm going to spray paint two or three light coats of uh, polyurethane enamel on top, and I'm set to go. Alright guys, there you go. Hopefully you liked that. Hopefully that was informative. Hopefully you can follow the steps along and make it something really cool of your own, whether it be a rod tube or whether it be whatever kind of craft you want to make out of plastic. 
Like the video, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for more cool stuff. I have a lot of really cool stuff planned for you guys, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, catch you guys on the flip side and tight lines.